Welcome back to Quiddy Connection. Thanks so much for joining us as there's lots to get through heading into March break. But joining us first, the Artistic Director of the Sterling Festival Theatre is Ken McDougall. So Ken, so great to meet you. Thanks so much for taking the time. Ah, thanks for having me on today. Very exciting. Thank you. For folks who don't know much about the Sterling Festival Theatre, it's a long time kind of icon in the small village of Sterling. Walk us through kind of what makes this season so special for you and the crew. Oh, this is a pretty fun season. We had a very successful uh, season last year and our panto did extremely well, Alice in Newfoundland. Uh, you know, and that has been great coming out of the pandemic, which was a really strange and weird time for us all. But, you know, we're on the upswing now and um, we have a new website, new ticketing system, uh, new marketing partner in Casima Marketing. And so uh, we're on a real upswing. So we ended last year really strong. The whole year was great, but lasted and then it's looking like a very exciting season so far this year. Great, so let's go to March break first. What's happening for the kids this year? Yeah, so uh, we got a really kind of different, exciting, um, it's called the March Break Circus Show, and we have some circus street performers who travel all over the world, um, headed off by Hilby, the skinny German juggler, and that is exactly who he is. He's a skinny German juggler, extremely funny, extremely funny, extremely talented. Uh, he juggles anything up to bowling balls and chainsaws. Wow. And we have an aerialist, uh, Kimberly Craig, who does hula hoop art and uh, can do contortionist stuff. And uh, she does a lot of theater and ice shows, but no ice on the Sterling Festival Theater stage. So she'll be bringing her aerialist show um, for that show. Uh, Lee Zimmerman, who is a really unique and brilliant guy, he does marionettes. Mm. And interestingly enough, he has a marionette of each of the other performers. So they'll be performing and then his marionettes of them will be performing as well. And it's rounded out by our hosts, the silly people, and they're out of Kitchener. Um, and they're, you know, juggling yo-yo comedy act. So really, really great group of talent. So great for the whole family too. Yeah. Like, you know, it's always, um, it's always a balance trying to find stuff for mom and dad to do, grandma and grandpa to do, uh, something that's entertaining for kids. These are uh, entertaining for all the generations. Bring the great grandparents. What time will the shows be, Ken, for the week of March break? For the March break, there's two o'clock shows on the Tuesday, a four o'clock on the Wednesday, uh, a two o'clock on the Thursday, and then another two o'clock on the Saturday. I'll just jump in and say a Friday night, there's no show because we have Sean McCann from the Great Big Sea doing a St. Patty's Day show on the Friday night. So March break circus show, Friday night St. Patty's with uh, Sean McCann from Great Big Sea. Great, yeah, and that's all happening March 12th to the 16th, that big week there. Ken, what else, week. yeah, Ken, what else is going on with, with Sterling Festival Theater after we get over March break? <clears throat> Well, we always have concerts, we always have dinner theater, we always have youth programming, we'll have a young company show in the fall, but our summer program is uh, spearheaded by the musical Godspell. And a lot of your, of, of Sterling's favorite actors will be coming back, like J.P. Baldwin and Sal Figliomeni, uh, Taylor Cole, but I'm really excited that uh, Amir Hader is coming back to the Sterling Theater, and he spent uh, seven years in Come From Away, and now that that show's done, he's back doing uh, smaller theaters again, and he's coming back to us for uh, the summer. So it's a great show. It's a really kind of sweet and lovely, but real, um, uh, real comedic based and vaudeville feel to it. Uh, the original Toronto production starred Eugene Levy, Martin Short, Andrea Martin, Catherine O'Hara. Um, and Victor Garber, and I'm kind of modeling our show as an homage to those great Canadians who did that musical in the 70s. So that's my, uh, that's what I'm using for the basis for our show. Great, what's the reaction been like, Ken, especially with the Sterling Festival Theatre these days? Because it's always been a real gem here in the broader Bay Queen region, but I think now so more than ever, considering what's happening with the theatre community ac across Canada with closures and shutdowns. Yeah, I mean, we really kind of were very lucky that we bucked the system and got people out for the panto um, <clears throat> because, uh, you know, you see, uh, you read a Toronto Starter article that things are down in uh, Toronto, uh, Soul Pepper and Factory Theater and small theaters like that. Um, <clears throat> they're going through a rough time. And I think it's, 
you know, it's been a weird time for business. I think people's pockets are a little leaner. I think that might have something to do with it. I think, you know, big shows really kind of maybe, and I'm, you know, I'm not a scientist in this, but possibly could have priced themselves out for a while. Uh, so with things like um, the March Break show, we've really tried to keep the show um, cost effective for families. Kids tickets are $15. Uh, parents are 25 so a 15 to 25 dollar ticket uh, we've tried to keep that cost effective and hopefully that'll bring people in and sales are have been very strong so far and and we're still a month out so hopefully um we'll continue the trend of bucking the trend of uh, of low ticket sales in other places and hopefully we'll continue to buck that trend and i think we've widened our net quite a lot um you know we have people coming from the edge of the GTA from Oshawa, from Kingston, Peterborough. Um, and we're, you know, we keep trying to, we keep trying to uh, widen that tourist net. Uh, you know, we like to remind people that there is something north of Prince Edward County and to come up and have a visit with us. Please go to the county and do all the great things there, but spare 20 minutes and come up and visit us. Now, Ken, how can people get involved with the Sterling Festival Theatre? Do you have a board of directors? Can people still volunteer? What is the setup these days? We have a volunteer coordinator. Um, we have a board of directors. A lot of our information for that will be on our website, uh, sterlingfestivaltheatre.com, but we are always looking for volunteers. Um, we had a nice bump in youth volunteers who always need volunteer hours, <laughs> and the Sterling Festival Theatre is a great place to, you know, there's lots of ways you can help out on a production and lots of ways you can help out in the front or in the back or, you know, if you're looking to get out and meet people, mm -hmm. um, volunteering for the theater is a great way to do that. And, you know, we're always looking for people to um, to help on a board of directors. You know, in a post pandemic, there's been a lot of, um, you know, there's a shrink in shrinkage in our volunteer base. You'll notice it across the community. So <clears throat> we're always trying to maintain and strengthen our volunteer corps. Speaking of youth, Ken, is there much discussion yet about summer camps and summer programming for, for young students? Yeah, I mean, we were, we were trying to build our um, summer programming, uh, <clears throat> especially with Godspell around our summer actors um, schedules and trying to obtain rights. And we had a lot of parents kind of scratching at the door looking for theater camps. So we do have a theater camp in the first week of July, and we have another theater camp in the last week of August. And, you know, and we've had a lot of parents. I know, you know, <clears throat> it's tough as parents. Um, you need to schedule your life and camps accordingly. So we got hers up as quick as we could. So, yeah, we have uh, we have theater camps and we'll be holding auditions in the summer for a young company show that we'll do in the fall as well. Nice. Well, Ken, as we, as we wrap up here, any more updates you want to shout out the community? It seems like there's lots going on behind, be, beyond the circus show. There is. I, I will announce that our uh, panto this year is uh, Cinderella stuck in Hallmark. So Cinderella this year will be stuck in a Hallmark Christmas movie. So it'll be a spoof of that. And again, like always, the panto is going to be fun for the whole family. Fantastic. Once again, Ken McDougall, the Artistic Director with the Sterling Festival Theatre. Ken, so great to have you on the program. Thanks so much. Take care. Thank you so much for having me. Have a great day.